Hello everyone, welcome to CyberDucky. Uh, we are at our day three uh, at CyberDucky as IT guy. We are learning basic network skills to build a network engineer career, which is um, uh, which is we saw earlier. Um, sorry for the screen messed up. Yeah, so we saw earlier what is the salary range in US for network engineer. An experienced network engineer can earn starting from sixty-two thousand all the way to one hundred fifty-two thousand dollars. And if we see in Singapore, it's like average is seventy two thousand dollars you will earn, and you know, and we can see some companies are offering, you know, in, in this company offering up to eight hundred and eighty thousand sing dollars, and they, there are a lot of you know area area there different salary range, but it's a good career you can start you know with a lot of um, no need to you know spend too much time to learn things, you know, you can we see India as well. India also they have a. I think two million per year, two point eight million, close to three million. I think again, it also di uh, will change company to company. If like if you join like a Microsoft in India, maybe you may go more than that, right? So there is a lot of opportunity being a network engineer job wise. So what I want to do today is just catch up what we did last week. What we did is we connected. Um, we are continuing our hands-on learning journey, right? And we have successfully connected desktops and printer net using network cables. So what we did is we use the you know straight cable. Uh, I'm not sure whether you're able to see my mouse. Give me a moment. Yeah, I hope you can see my screen. So when we go to the cable, we saw this is a straight through cable here, and uh, sorry, uh, crossover cables, right? So I will show eventually what are the cables and what's the difference. We will, we will discuss in this video, but today I will have one of the major tasks as an IT guy who learning the networking skills. Um, we need to work on connecting the laptop, right? So we need to connect the laptop through using Wi-Fi. So we need to do certain things, and we will discuss about the OSI layer as well. So Wi-Fi and cable all comes in the layer. Um, physical layer one correct so this is sits here so because it's it's this is where the network is connecting devices are connected right so that that's where we we are going to work today connecting using uh, physical layer and we are going to use the ap so in our case uh, let me go below okay so what we're going to do is we're going to connect one uh, cable to a device called ap which is basically mean access point so what it will do is it will make uh, you know network cable connected network to cable to connect through the Wi-Fi so let's say um, once we connect to the AP and it will broadcast our ne LAN network okay local area or like the cable network as a wireless network so in this case we have two laptops let me draw that one more clearly yeah so we have lap one and we have lap two, correct? So we're gonna use them to connect Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connectivity from both sides. So this is the, this is to represent the Wi-Fi connectivity. We don't have cable like what we have, you know, connected here. So th that's what I wanted to highlight. So this one, since we have to use the IP address five for printer, so we'll just use here uh, 192.168.0.6 and 192.168.0.7. So once we set up these IP addresses, they should be able to communicate to this printer. Basically, we assume that they can print. Yeah. So as a network guy, maybe our job is not setting up the printer at the moment. And we, if you're on a job, you may need to set up the printer uh, drivers and should be able to print. So it's, it's quite a bit of an IT job, right? IT guy job. So I don't want to go there and we cannot demonstrate that one using this packet tracer. So we will use again ping tool to make sure that it's able to ping. Right, so we need to find out the AP we wanted. So this is the wireless device you can see here. It comes here wireless device. So we will use normal AP. So these are the wireless controllers, some other functions. So we will go with those devices eventually. But since our network is small one, we just take the AP. So we take the AP. It has no configuration, nothing need. So what we need to do is uh, no IP address, nothing to operate. It just has a SSID we can give. You can give the password, whatever you want. Maybe we can give. I don't know, one will not work, it should minimum eight, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, in, in the real world you should have a higher, you know, uh, password. I mean more strong password. We change this to uh, ducky. So the SSID will show ducky in that case. <laughs> right? We done that and in laptop I think I already done the settings already. No, it's not DHC, it should be static. Um the IP address one ninety one six eight zero dot six right yeah six we should start from six interface is wireless okay and I'm not sure how it will connect if we have a password that was my connection yeah it's 
it's on, but uh, why SSID is disabled? Authentication is disabled. Okay. Then I need to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we had to put the key, I think. Because we don't have, uh, yeah, see, it's connected. Now you see the connectivity comes. We do the same thing for this laptop as well. Uh, static 1680.7. Mm, let's see Wi-Fi card. Okay, never mind. I just go configure wireless. The key we use WP2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Close, it should connect now. Come on. Yes. So they're connected to the Wi Fi, but connectivity, let's try the connectivity. So we know the ping tool, right? So we go ping tool and we know the IP address we use 6 and 7. So if 6 is, I think, our own IP, then 7 is our neighbor IP. But 5 is a printer IP, it doesn't ping. No reply comes. The reason is we are not connected to the LAN, right? So again, we need to go to cable. We use straight through cable from uh, port number six to port number zero. Connected, let's see what happens. So it's, it's still, you know, kind of uh, establishing the port configurations. So we know uh, the Wi Fi is okay because the both side can connect, but for some reason it's taking time. Yeah, see, we got the reply. So it's connected. We can can do the printing right so yeah so that's it i don't know whether we can decide whether, whether we can open the printer from here Six eight dot zero dot five. server reset okay settings attributes no i think we could there is no option to run a Anyway, anyway, DHCP we will talk in the future videos. You know, DHCP like basically means uh, it will give automatic IP. Now we are just statically configuring. So there's something called DHCP server, DNS server. So we will discuss that one all. So yeah, so what we can see here is I want to just show things, you know, uh, we have already connected the switch, right? So uh, show my address, yeah. So it's coming from port five. So let's see uh, whether we can see the Laptop MAC address. Okay. Uh, yeah. So see here, there is something interesting. You can see two MAC addresses in the same port. You see. So it's of now consider this one like a flat network. It, it has no nothing. You know, VLANs are segregated, and we are all using the same subnet. In future, maybe we can you know segregate Wi-Fi is one subnet, maybe one IP range. We need to involve you know routing. We will go there. So we are still in a layer one stage. So I just want to show you that okay, how things works, right? So we just did the basic network. Just we use cabling to connect few desktops, printer, then use the AP to convert our local area into the Wi-Fi network, and we connected our laptops, right? that's good so we are done on that so let's go back to the whiteboard and let's a little bit explore a few things i just want to show is the cabling also so let me bring my browser okay the cabling network cabling there's a few things to take note okay let's say cat cable we use cat cable in networking cat cat5 or let's say cat cable sorry cable types yeah so there is a few type of cat cables right cat e cat 6 cat a cat 7 so big difference you can see here is that the speed so we don't use let me open this so if you see here we use cat e we cat 5 also can because that one is only 100 meg right 100 meters only it works then cat e 1 gig 100 meter only distance meaning from from your desktop to your switch or desktop to i mean between these two devices you can only go maximum 100 meg so that I means 100 meter that, that, that's what it means if you want bigger speed 1 gig i mean 10 gig cat 6 cat 6a cat 7 so this is where the so this is one of the thing you need to know and the cable rj45 let's go to rj45 okay rj45 cable they has a two uh what do you call two uh, types we have cross cable what do you call uh, straight okay. So when you do this, you will get some of the informations. Like there is a two standard. Uh, even if you're using the straight cable, right? There's two type uh, T 
568A and T568B. So some country they use A standard, some country they use B standard. So where I'm coming from Singapore, we use you know B standard. Then I want to show difference between uh, is that straight? Is it? Yeah, I just wanted to show this one. So there's a two difference between straight through and the cross. So they just usually big difference because of their you know how it connected and what is the purpose. So so if it is straight cable from one end to one end is like white orange orange I think it's white green blue white blue green and I think it's brown and light I mean white brown and brown right in crossover cable it goes a little bit different first one side is white orange orange then we have white green then blue white blue then green and white white brown and the brown on the other end it become different white uh, green then blue sorry white green and green white orange then brown brown white brown then orange and you know this, uh, what do you call white blue and the blue so difference is that and it's used for let me see if I can give me give you example of what is it used for right it's, it's already mentioned here let's go I'm trying to fix all the problem at one shot again so okay straight through cable used for switch to router switch to desktop server between hub this this is hub i mean non managed switch remember we were we were talking about unmanaged switch hub so so it's used for hub to uh, desktop or hub to server so it's basically switch to the endpoints so if you're connecting um, let's say two switches then you need to use cross cable and if you're using hub and switch again two network devices right so you'll be using the cross and two hub cross and route two routers then again cross directly connecting to uh, router through a cable then uh, desktop is also cross and desktop to desktop meaning let's say we have two um, desktop we don't have switch we just have two system we need to connect these two together then we just use the cross cable from here to here okay so this is cross right let's try the cop uh, normal straight cable also let's see which one is works I mean we are learning so we need to do some experiment to learn and you know things make sure it's we learn correctly so if you see it's different color if you want you can put an IP and we can test Let's put an IP, let's say 1.1.1.1. It doesn't matter, we are doing a test here, right? So we go here. Another IP range is 2. So if I ping to 2 from here, it will reply. Yeah. But if you do the same thing, let's say we go here, we type here uh, 2.2.2.1. Don't worry, we will discuss about IP addresses. I know it's maybe you may new to this topic, so we will we will discuss the IP address subnet and what is default gateway, what is DNS, what is DSCP. We we going there, right? So we we will go eventually. So if you don't know what is IP, it's easy. Just type IP config. So we know this system is using two 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 one. Then we just our neighbor is two 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 dot two. No, no reply. So basically, you we, we need to know that we are using. Uh, you know which type of cable we need to connect to device to device right so this this one just simple google you can just find out if you have questions don't worry to learn right no don't be scared to learn things just do google find out you know sometimes you only keep everything in your mind so but if some this type of scenarios doesn't come every day so it's just a knowledge purpose right yeah so that's all for today i think i've covered most important things how to connect to wi-fi and then we talk about a little bit cabling there is one cable i never touched yet is the fiber cable so fiber also same fiber okay so fiber cable is using light so there is a few type of fiber cable lc to lc sc it's very big topic and it's field itself it's 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 a world itself then you have multi-mode, single mode, you know, the, so the, how far multi-mode can work, how far single mode work can. So these are, you need to learn by yourself because it's very difficult to, you know, show the things because it takes, but if I have opportunity, I have uh, one switch, but I don't have power cable I need to find. So if I find a power cable for that, then I will try to demonstrate the, you know, some, some uh, thing, whatever I can do. Yeah, you can just do fiber cable types and speed maybe types. You see, they already gave some of the information. It's a YouTube video, I think. Um, I think it's here. So these are the type of cables. Yeah, I think it's updated quite a long time ago. So there is this type of cables are no longer available. So now majority we use this one, SC to SC, sorry, LC to LC, some SC also. And yeah, then there is something called fiber converter, where uh, fiber converter. Yeah. So this one is you have uh, let's say where's my whiteboard. 
let me explain that as well like so let's say you have a, a switch right one and you have a switch here so this one doesn't have a built-in fiber port so what you will do is you will buy the media converter let's say this is the fiber converter right the one we saw just now here this one so you will buy this or maybe I just copy and see if I can copy 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 yes copy as an image so you put one here you put one here and this also depends on what type of cable it's multi mode or single mode you need to see that one so the copper cable side you will connect to your switch because you don't have you know fiber ports then you use your fiber cables to here so there is a two cable in the fiber because one is I think you know is the multi mode and even single mode I think okay, give me a moment let me find out yeah it also comes with two so if you see the thing the, it, because I think it's called um, I forgot the name uh, because one one side I think it's like a one side I think traffic is going light is going traveling on one direction I think one direction is inside so it's it's quite a different um, yeah, it's very in-depth uh, subject you don't need, no need to for to do something you don't need to know too much you just need to know what is the mode what is what type of the cable is it LC SC because LC SC is just a connector type then the mode of the cable which is multi mode or single mode right it's depend on distance also so if you have very long distance maybe you go with single mode if you have very short distance you will go for um, um, single sorry multi mode so I think this is where you can see that information as well somebody has done a nice job yeah just now I saw there's OEM stuff okay this is what we want so short distance cable single mode less than thousand feet short distance less than long distance runs greater than this highest bandwidth support yeah yeah but there is some other things which we need to learn and every day we are learning right so I'm also learning you're also learning so we do research we will we'll work together we will find out and if I have find anything more information I'll definitely share here yeah, I think the video is going more than I expected. I try to keep this one below 30 minutes. As I, I should, I want to keep it at 15, but there are a lot of things to talk, right? So anyway, I think I stop here for today. I hope we got it what we want to learn today. Uh, most importantly, we understand, you know, um, we are at still at layer physical layer. Now we're gonna move from next next two three days. We will work on switches or in the data link. What are the things we need to do? And then we already understand physical layer. Physical layer where we always check first troubleshooting. Again, we will do we will work on troubleshooting also. And if we finally finally we finish the network project for now. Our small network, but it will expand. We will see how we when it's expand. What are the technology we need? You're gonna use how you're gonna use the routing. How you're gonna use VLAN to give you know you know segregate networks and how you're gonna give automatically IP address. How DNS works. All these things we will find out. Yeah, so now we know a little bit about um, what you call fiber optics and multi mode cables as well. Yeah, I think it's good for today. Let's end and see you again in a, another day. The third, I mean, our fourth day at Cyberdaki. See you again.